In this video, we will learn how to use the Transform Hierarchy feature in ToonSquid. The Transform Hierarchy allows for some basic rigging that can be useful for cutout animation. We will look at how this works with the example of this arm that we want to animate. To begin with, I have the upper arm, the lower arm and the hand on three separate animation layers. Right now, trying to animate this as one single arm is very difficult because the layers are not connected. What we ultimately want is a setup in which moving the lower arm also moves the hand and moving the upper arm moves the lower arm and therefore also the hand. That means we want to position these layers relative to each other in order to chain their transforms. And we can do that with the transform hierarchy. Let's open the transform hierarchy by tapping on this button at the bottom of the timeline. All animation layers that are not part of a hierarchy will be listed on the left. In our case, that's currently all of our layers. To create a hierarchy, we can just drag layers into the area on the right. First, we drop the upper arm, since that is the root of a hierarchy. If we now drop the lower arm onto the upper arm in the hierarchy, we can attach the two together. Now the upper arm is the so-called parent of the lower arm, which means that the lower arm is positioned relative to the upper arm. We repeat the same for the hand layer, but this time we parent it to the lower arm layer. Now, moving, rotating and scaling the upper arm automatically moves the lower arm and the lower arm moves the hand. However, the movement doesn't look right yet, since rotations are still happening around the center of each layer. In order to fix this, we have to move the pivot points of our layers. For this, we tap the layer and select Enable Pivot Editing. Once we have placed the pivot, we can tap the layer again and select Disable Pivot Editing so that we don't accidentally move it again. Now we have a basic rig that we can use to animate this arm using keyframes. As always, make sure that Edit Pixels is disabled before you start adding keyframes. The last aspect of this topic that I want to show is the transform layer. You can add transform layers via the timeline like this. As you can see, the transform layer itself has no visible contents on the canvas. All it has are transform properties that you can animate just like a normal layer. You can add transform layers to the transform hierarchy and use them in order to drive the movement of multiple other layers without having to add a visible layer to your animation purely for this purpose. An example for this is the movement of the birds in the demo animation, which has been animated in a separate transform layer that the macaw layers are parented to.